nothing like a new hat to dispel the gloom of approaching winter. Ask any of your girlfriends. This ruched silk turban's a heartening example from Simone Merman's autumn and winter collection. She says that Persia, where she spent a holiday this year, has been her inspiration. Turbans, anyway, are quite the thing. A corkscrew of chenille on a cocktail hat. And that's handy. Arriving a little late, what an entrance you'd make at the party. Black monkey. And there's a girl's face somewhere there behind it. Rather intriguing, this one. Trying to find out who you're talking to before you say the wrong thing. Chenille again, this time in the form of a cloche, though hardly what they used to call a cloche, I'm told. Next, a droop of cock feathers to cause a flutter of envy. A spectacular affair that wouldn't pass unnoticed. This is officially described as a gold kid puff, which is a new one to me. Attractive, though. Chenille does seem to be the mode, doesn't it? In any case, it's just another bit of cheer designed by Princess Margaret's milliner. It should brighten up a dull day. The Basque Beret is to make a comeback, had you heard? I don't have to tell you what it's made of, I'm sure. Mink, just for a change. A turban of pastel mink and never mind the price. What's that matter, so long as a girl gets something new to perch on her head? She might prefer a kid bonnet, but it must be new. Must be something to give her spirits a lift. You see the point? The sky's the limit when a milliner has a bit of a joke with a crazy hat. This one's based on a skull cap of plaited felt, but it's new and different, and that's the point. <laughs>